What's going on guys, it's Eric. Welcome to the video. I am just doing a quick video to check in with you guys. It's been a crazy uh, November. It's been actually really crazy. Lots of um, really uh, highs and lows basically. So as an entrepreneur, I don't know if I talk about it on here, but basically your oh my god you you're uh you're always you're not not you but just entrepreneurs in general but i'll speak about myself um we tend to get really excited about something i got a new client i gained a new client or i won a bid to get more work with an existing client or this client called and they're like gonna just make me a, a huge success overnight or whatever blah 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 so that happens and then like the next thing that happens is you never do anything you never do anything with that client or um your truck blows up and now you don't you you were in business and now you're out of business and you're like on top of the world, you feel like you can conquer the whole world. And then uh, the next next minute you're wondering <clears throat> why you are, you know, even in business or if it's even worth it. So it's called in my, I call it the entrepreneurial roller coaster. And I learned this from um, one of my mentors a long time ago, um, back probably before I was 20 so um I just had my 35th birthday last week and it was a crazy week I got some really good news and um then I got some really hard news basically I'm not even gonna go into any details because you can just people could put the the, the pieces together um too easily if they knew a little bit about me so I'm not gonna say much but basically I was I basically won over about four hundred thousand dollars worth of uh, work new work which um, just at 10 percent if I if basically I would be giving myself a forty thousand dollar a week raise so that happened Actually, I won over $200,000 worth of work, but what ended up happening was the day that I ran, I uh, won the work, something happened, well, I'll just tell you this, we tipped the trailer over, so basically to get do that work, we need we needed more than that trailer that tipped over, so now we lost basically gross $200,000 in revenue because of for that trailer you know we're gonna get it fixed and everything but we're down a trailer because of that and then be, and then something else happened where it didn't even involve us and then because of what ended up happening it ended up causing problems for us which then uh, we ended up losing more revenue so pretty much like a four hundred thousand dollar phantom loss basically because it's not really a loss but because something else will happen and, and then we'll be super excited about it but um it's just been a rough uh week and a half and then we've had lots of other challenges um that are all work related and uh i was yeah, I don't know. It's just been a tough one. So, um, all that happened last. It actually happened. A lot of it happened on Friday the 13th, and I was excited when that day was over. But then it continued on into this week. Um, and then it's, uh, it's actually been, the week has been getting better and better. So one thing, um, as probably 
writing my own checks for over 10 years, which is basically being an entrepreneur for over 10 years. I don't even know how long it's been, but it's been a long time. Um, I haven't been doing the trucking, but then we used to do the lawn care before that. Um, but within this, within this time that I've learned, uh, at even before I was an entrepreneur, when I had this mentor about the ups and the downs, he talked about, or one thing that I've been able to learn, and I've talked about this before, but it's very important if you want to be in business for yourself for a long period of time. And I get, you know, it, it's basically you want your lows to be high and your highs to be low. If you want it, you know, like if you look at, if you're like, this is your excitement level goes up and down, you just want it to be a straight line. And I feel like that's one of the reasons why I talk monotone and I don't, I try not to get super excited about things because if I get super excited about things and I'll be super disappointed when something happens and in my mind, and I'm not negative, but in my mind, because I've been doing this for so long and I've trained myself to do this, I train myself to know when something really bad happens that I've just got to keep on going. If you're going through hell, just keep going. So when something bad happens, that's a, that's a country song, by the way. Um, but if you think, and I've talked about it before, but I'm just saying it's just, I, it'll be fun to look back at this video or my kids or my grandkids look at this video and just know that this stuff isn't, it's not easy. It's a lot about mindset. So, but the whole point is, is that once you understand, once I understood that I'm not special, that you're not special, that we all have challenges in our business, then we know that, and then if you know that you're gonna have these really bad, really hard challenges, then you can just keep on going because the craziest thing you can do is to stop, right? But here's the thing, when things are going really good and everything you do is like, every call you make is a sale, you know, it just the truck's running really good. The family's doing good. The, you know, whatever it is, just know not, not to be negative. It's not a negative thing, but just know that it's a season of good. And then there will be a season of not so good. And as you get stronger in your entrepreneurial journey as you get stronger in your personal journey your just your character about yourself how you um present yourself you will get better and better and be able to over and come overcome more and more things so like to give you an example if an owner operator or to lose, in theory, lose $400,000 in income, they would probably be out of business because they don't even make 400, most owner operators don't make that type of money a year. If uh, a lot of owner operators engine blew up, they might be out of business. But, you know, like, when I have an engine that blows up or whatever, it's like, it's, it's, it's a decision to keep it moving. Like, okay, we're going to, we'll figure this out and just keep on going. I don't, I feel like they're, those are stupid examples, but hopefully you get the idea, uh, behind it. And hopefully this video isn't too boring for you guys, but I've been really struggling. I was been wanting to put a video out, but I don't want to make a video that says too much. And then I don't want to make a video that, I don't know. So basically I feel like there's people, I just gotta be careful with what I say. So 
put it that way. But anyways, uh, that's all for tonight. Good talking to you guys. I hope you enjoy the video. Sorry it's been so long since I've done a video, and hopefully we'll get uh, we'll get back on a roll here. Peace.